Jack Rewalt one day actually, I, I stuffed up a kick early in the game that cost us a goal and he was into me all day calling me uh, Captain Can Kick. Joe Montagna always refers to me as schoolboy every time we play him. He sure used one uh, last year to uh, Alex Rance and said you are going to win the reverse Coleman. Mark McVeigh towards Jonathan Brown. Uh, I think uh, Brownie was giving Mark, uh, Spike a bit of uh, lip about saying that he was going to eat him and Spike said he's going to use the, the same bowl that you cut your hair with. Congratulations, you're the first ticket holder to the Stevie J show. A couple of years ago, Brett Jones said to Chris Judd, uh, Judd had both his shoulders strapped and Jonesy said, how your shoulders going mate? And Judd replied, uh, he was playing for Carlton and he said, uh, uh, they're pretty sore, mate. I've been carrying you boys around for the last five years. It's funny, Ricky Pettard, uh, I filled in as captain probably two years ago, and it's funny that he's now at the Tigers, but he called me the worst captain ever to play the game. I think Stevie Johnson, to, uh, when we played him round 11 or 10, uh, and he said, uh, I've won more premierships than you play games for one of the boys. So that was probably the best. Oh, a guy called me Biscuits once. Playing at the Pies, Dale Thomas had to ask one of our trainers once to bring him out the record just so he could look up the kid's number and name who he was playing on. Brendan Favol to Michael Hurley said that uh, if he's on him at half time he'll give him $100. I think Vossie's one to his brother about dad slept with, my dad slept with your mum last night, it's probably the best one I've heard. Barry Hall said to Jack Redden, mate are you old enough to have pubes yet? I've heard a few but probably my best one that I've heard that if I've got a lisp. So uh, all the guys that say I've got a list, thanks Einstein, you can try and come up with something better than that. Andrew Mackey, I think, at long one day, asked a teammate if they even got the four points for beating us because they reckon it was too easy. Dale Thomas asked me last year if I'd uh, clean my hands after changing nappies. That's new centre circle just come in. We were playing the Bulldogs here and I was obviously playing against Luke Darcy and he threw out the, um, hey, um, Coxie's out of the circle. And I was obviously still standing in it. He goes, no, he's standing in it. He goes, no, he's nosies. Chris Tarrant said to me last year, your brother would have marked that. Being 25 and, and hearing Chewy on your boot, um, still floating around, still makes, me, uh, still makes me laugh a bit out in the footy field. Halfway through the third quarter in the grand final, the second grand final against St Kilda, um, I think Lenny Hayes was roughing up Dids a little bit. Maybe even took a couple of swings at him. And Dids said to him, you think this is bad? Imagine if we actually start trying. Tommy Rockliffe. Tom Rockliffe. Tom Rockliffe. Now that Hutto's gone, probably me. It speaks for itself, Mr. Jack Raywell. Jack Raywell. I've got a feeling a fair few of the boys might say me. Iron Vickery uh, comes across as a really quiet bloke, but on the field he's very verbal. Was led by Benny Hudson, but he's uh, he's moved on now, so maybe G is a little bit yappy sometimes. Probably G. Yeah. Jared Petrenko, I reckon. He, he loves sledging. Dane Swan and Dids would be pretty much on par with each other. Sam Mitchell. That's an easy one, Milne. 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 Stevie Milne. Milne. <laughs> For sure. Probably the biggest mouth in the league. Besides myself, I would probably have to say David Armitage as well. With Michael Osborne. Heath Shaw, definitely. Heath Shaw. Heath Shaw. These days it's uh, Heath Shaw at Collingwood. Um, at St Kilda it was, it was Milne for sure. I reckon Tex. Taylor Walker. Tom Bug. Tom Bug. Tommy Bug for sure. He loves the sledge. Michael Hibbert has a few things to say. Yeah. Mickey Robinson. Lyndon Dunn. Lyndon Dunn, for sure, he, he cops it, but also dishes out a fair bit. I think Boomer, you know, he's got, he can really get going, but he can back it up. Probably Boomer, yeah, he's, got, he's pretty chirpy. Probably Luke Shuey, yeah. Shuey. Andrew Mackey's usually pretty good at sledging. Andrew Mackey would be our best sledger. Hayden Ballantyne. Ballas. Ballas. Alex Johnson. Well, that'd be Alex Johnson by far. Alex Johnson, the megaphone. You can hear him from, a, from an absolute mile away, the mega mouth. Dane Cox is always full of lip. I've heard Jonathan Brown have a few words. Jonathan Brown's pretty good at, uh, at saying a few things. Jonathan Brown. Uh, Milne likes to, likes to yap a fair bit. Milne. Stephen Milne. Yeah, well, I think young Valentine. Valentine. Uh, Valentine. Hayden Valentine. It's got to be Hayden Valentine. Hayden Valentine. Uh, Hayden Valentine. Matt McGuire and I have uh, some good battles. I got memories of playing against Michael Voss in Brisbane's heyday, and I just couldn't get over how he didn't stop sledging the whole game. Oh, Andrew Mackey's pretty good. Andrew Mackey's not bad for a sledge. Jack Rewalt. Definitely Joey Montagna. Uh, probably Lyndon Dunn. Brendan Goddard. Rory Sloan. Brent Guerra. Steve Johnson. Stevie Johnson. Well, now that he's not here anymore, Ben Hudson, he loves, uh, he loves the sledge. Lance Franklin um, likes to, he doesn't sledge as much, but he likes to let everyone know how good he is. Mitch Robinson. 
Angus Monfries was a little chirper. Andrew Carrazzo. Matty Stokes has given me a few good raps, but he's a bit like Milne, you can't really understand what he's saying. Robert Murphy, you have a couple of good tassels with him. Bob Murphy. Brent Harvey. Sam Mitchell. I've played on Stephen Milne for about a decade now and I'm, I still can't get a word in. Stephen Milne. I was yappy. Stephen Milne. Stephen Milne. Stephen Milne. Uh, Stephen Milne. Probably Milne. Yeah, I think Milne's right up there. Milne. Probably Milne. Milne. Uh, Milne. The Premier from the previous year, Norman. So I'll be Sydney this year. St Kilda aren't too bad, so I'll probably give it to them. St Kilda. They're all, uh, they all love getting on the lip. St Kilda. St Kilda. St Kilda. St Kilda. When I first started, it was definitely Brisbane Lions when they were winning their you know, three premierships in a row. They were probably the best on the sledge. Collingwood's pretty good at it, I think. Their fans as well. Collingwood are quite up there. Collingwood. Collingwood. Last year, I reckon it was the GWS guys. They came out pretty hard. <laughs> Hawthorne, uh, you know, personally, seemed to. It's stuck in the air a bit. Hawthorne. 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 Brisbane. They're, uh, I think uh, Michael Voss was a bit of a sledge when he played, and that's probably leaked down into their playing group, so they're, uh, they've always got a lot to say. I guess I'll come to be from Adelaide. The West Coast. I'm living here in Perth, it's probably the Dockers. Probably the Bulldogs. The young GWS side had a bit to say, actually. They were, they were pretty lippy. Uh, Richmond are pretty good. Richmond? Uh, Richmond. I mean, Richmond are pretty good at sledging. Pretty, uh, pretty vocal out there. Carlton are pretty good. Carlton, Carlton. Maybe some of the Geelong boys. Geelong over the last probably three or four years. Geelong were pretty good at it when we played them last year. Geelong. 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 I'd say the Cats are pretty good. Probably us. <laughs> Which is sad. 